Very special guest, indeed, the co-founder of the St. Louis Chess Club, Mr. Rex Singfield. Rex, first of all, welcome to the show. We've had Thank so you, many amazing matches so far. Oh, in it's been incredible. And we've had the best commentary in the world <laughs> of all time. You're always nice about that. Thank you very much. I'm Rex. always honest about it. <laughs> what was your favorite match? Oh, I'll gosh. put you on the spot. Uh, I guess it would be one of the games with Fabi. Oh, this last one was interesting, but it was pretty clear it was headed toward a draw. Mm. That match, I would assume, is the one that went all the way to Armageddon. Yes. Between himself and Levon. Now, tell us a bit about this format, because I know uh, you have your doubts, but I, right I now like we have it. a lot. No, I like it, and I've been querying like yep. many people, and I haven't seen anybody that doesn't like it. Some of them have a little trouble understanding it at first, and that's understandable, especially if you're in the midst of it. But I think it's generated a lot of excitement and it hasn't been used very often. So people are saying, why don't we try it in all of our other tournaments? Well, if, that's a bit, you know, bit much, but. If you would play in the tournament, uh, which time control do you think would suit you the best? Uh, if my opponent got no time at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Guys, join the conversation. Yes, sir. Jovi. That's fair. Rex, I tell you, one of the things that's bugging me about the St. Louis Chess Club these days is uh, the, the renovation. Let's, let's face it, the renovation has been ongoing for the better part of a year. I know the pandemic and da 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 but I have seen the designs and they're beautiful. And so I'm anxious for the club to meet the expectations that everybody has. When is it gonna happen? Well, <clears throat> thank you for your anxiety. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we're all frustrated too. It's been going on, it's like uh, age old, it never, I, I don't say it doesn't come to an end because it hasn't begun, mm -hmm. and that's the frustration. We have all the contracts signed, all the approvals from the city, and we just can't seem to get the contractors to move. Mm. That's the frustration. I see. So that's the holdup. Because the, the designs are beautiful. I mean, it, 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 it's yes, going it to is. be Thank it's you. going to be the most beautiful chess club, uh, well, certainly America's ever seen, but we want to say uh, the world. Probably in the world, but I haven't gone to see all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Next time around, I was Jeffy. curious to know, uh, what is the big ambition for St. Louis Chess Club? She's hard to hear. What is the big ambition for the St. Louis Chess Club, she's asking? Oh, my goodness. Because you guys um, have already done so much. I think much. to just keep doing the things we've been doing, uh, it would be nice someday to hold a world championship here, but I think we have to have a St. Louis participant to justify that. <laughs> Rex, congratulations for this amazing new tournament, the American Cup. Uh, at the World Chess Hall of Fame, there's also uh, the music series happening yes. every week. Tell us a bit about that. That happens twice a month. We have one pop series, um, so it can be soul, it can be jazz or whatever. And then we have one classical series, which I will admit is my favorite. And we often borrow performers from the St. Louis Symphony. and. Uh, these folks really know their tune. They're mm -hmm. outstanding. I have to say, I've been to some of those shows. They're just simply remarkable. Jovi, you have something for us as we go on a break. Yes, we do, um, because the World Chess Hall of 